what were the big expectations and how does it go uh, as so, compared to that? I thought that this was a budget, uh, interim budget, where we saw a very, I would say prudence is a word, and a, 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 a exercise of a lot of prudence, uh, fiscal, def, uh, you know, uh, discipline is something which really stands out. Uh, the way it has also stayed on the course of increasing capex is an important thing to watch, and the acknowledgement that the industry has started uh, its own investments, and I think the capex itself, the increase of capex, uh, would lead to further furthering of that. That is industry, uh, industrial, new industrial uh, investments coming in, and then uh, I would think another important feature of the budget is its uh, uh, again prudence, if I can say, on borrowings which will lead to a lot in terms of the nominal as well as the real interest rates uh, moderation uh, which will again from where demand spurs then the focus which we have seen on areas like housing in rural areas and uh, those are very very key areas because that itself triggers off a large number of sectors uh, uh, to come up. Uh, the focus on women, the focus on Ayushman Bharat, the health part of it. So it's a spend, uh, the budget spending, the way it has been done in terms of uh, both social and physical infrastructure, these are critical points for us to see uh, uh, and lays the foundation of a very strong development-oriented uh, budget which leads us to a strong, strong, stronger India, if I would imagine. The finance minister announced a huge corpus for to boost R&D in the private sector. How do you see that? So, because the uh, private sector has always been lagging behind as far as the innovation R&D is concerned. So this was one of the most important points that we have been always focusing on, that uh, how uh, for see for Indian manufacturing to be successful, Indian uh, uh, make in India to be successful over a period of time, uh, we need more of our, our private sector spending. The proportion uh, of private sector spending uh, 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 as per the GDP to be increased, and that is was quite uh, has been very minimal. Government spends much more than what the private sector is doing. So we are looking at through this budget uh, the triggering of the private sector. Uh, investments into areas like design and, and uh, which would indeed be a very important factor to take away from the budget. Which sectors do you think will benefit from today's whatever the speech uh, and the initiatives the government has announced today? So it's, it, it, it cuts across sectors. Uh, it cuts across sectors, say for instance when you talk about housing, the housing uh, sector itself looks at a large number of sectors that get tri triggered off from steel to cement to uh, or, and what have you. So the focus on capex spending itself leads to a large number of manufacturing sectors which gets boosted. The focus on tourism was a, is, is again very, very important. and. Uh, that would also, in, uh, in fact, trigger a large, um, uh, largely, uh, 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 I would say imagine the employment. Uh, uh, the other area which I have seen, uh, which is which is again very good, is uh, you know when you really look at spending uh, on the quality of spending, which is. Uh, uh, upskilling, uh, education, and healthcare. These are areas which lays foundation for a much stronger uh, economy, and through or over which also uh, the type of spend, qualitative so spending that we will, will see in the social infrastructure side, in the sectors which are included in the social infrastructure side itself will improve. So I see manufacturing. I see space also given to social uh, to services sectors like tourism, uh, healthcare. I also see uh, the small and the mid-sized companies because of the rural air focus that one has seen uh, coming up very strongly. And the benefit that comes because of the, as I said, the moderation which is expected in the interest rate because of the balanced borrowing uh, would trigger uh, would uh, help in the liquidity for the small-scale sector. Yeah. I looked up five balance sheets on money control. I'll do it on the fly. This took me exactly three minutes, thanks to money control. First uh, thing to come up is money control. So I don't even have to scroll down to look at it. I click and I get what I want. When I started my career, there was a huge information arbitrage between institutional investors and retail investors. The arbitrage gap between institutional and retail investor has disappeared mainly due to money control.
Congratulations, Money Control, and thank you so much for being there. Absolutely delighted with the news that Money Control has overtaken the Economic Times. Money Control has slowly and steadily become the go-to site for all updates. Money Control has good ideas, detailed ideas, stock-specific uh, ideas. Life of the uh, market is Money Control. This is that you get everything uh, what needs to be known. 